We shall now take a look at a problem which involves getting or extracting the individual digits of a whole number. Let's say the number is 62. So first I'll print 2 followed by 6. That's why I'm saying write algorithm to print the digits of a number from right to left. Now let's say a number is 24. Let's first understand how this works then it's really really easy. Number is 24. If I take 24 and divide by 10, I am going to get the remainder as 4 and the quotient happens to be 2. Quotient is the result of a division operation, remainder is the result of a mod operation. So first thing what I do is I say number is number mod 10. So out of 24, 4 goes into remainder and I can print this 4 on the screen. Now, in order to go to the next step, I need to lose this 4. So what I do is I take the number and divide it by 10. When I divide it by 10, this is whole number division. I am not interested in the fractional part of the division. That's very important to understand. I am not interested in 2.4, 2.3. I am looking at the complete whole number division. So 2 is gone into number. Now, again what I do is I take the number 2 and I divide by 10. 2 is not divisible by 10. Okay, so 2 doesn't go into 10. So 2 remains the remainder and 0 is the quotient. So next time when I say remainder is number mod 10. Okay, 2 mod 10 happens to be 2. So I print after 4 I print 2 on the screen. Now what I do is I take the number 2 and I divide by 10. So here when I divide by 10 the remainder sorry the quotient happens to be 0. Since the quotient happens to be 0 I have finished the processing of the number because I have got 4 and I have got 2. So now you should understand I should keep extracting the digits of the number that means keep repeatedly doing mod and division as long as the value of number is greater than 0. So my condition will be while number greater than 0 do. First do this remainder is number mod 10. Next step is number is number divided by 10. Print remainder and keep looping around this as long as the value of number is greater than 10. So let's try to now run through the logic. So I need one variable called as number to read a number like 24. I need remainder to keep the remainder of a number and also to print it out on the screen or the printer. First thing I do is I ask the user to enter a number. User will enter the number from the keyboard. Once the user enters the number from the keyboard, the very first thing I always need to do in a loop, most of the time in a loop, you need to understand this. You should first always ask yourself a question. How many times should I keep repeating the logic in the loop? That is your condition of the loop. I should keep doing it as long as number is greater than zero. Then I come here. Remainder is number mod 10. So number mod 10. So if in case of 24, it will give me 4. Remainder is 4. Now I need to lose that 4. So I am going to do a division by 10. Number is number by 10. So only 2 will remain in number. I am doing full number division. I am not interested in the fractionals. That is number 1. Number 2, why I am dividing by 10 is we are working in a base 10 system of numbers here. Suppose you did hexadecimal, you will divide by a different base. If I work on octal, I will divide by a different base. So it's up to the number system. You decide whether you are going to divide by 10, 8 or 16 or so on. Then I write the remainder. So I am writing 4 on the screen. Okay. Now number had become 2 after this division. 2 is greater than 0 is true. So remainder is 2 divided by 10. So remainder is 2. So at this point remainder is 2. Number is 2 divided by 10, 10 doesn't is not 2 is not divisible by 10. So the quotient is 0. Number has now become 0. So I write remainder, I write 2 on the screen. Number has become 0 after this particular step. 0 is greater than 0? No. So I am coming here end while and I am going to stop. So this should give you an idea how I split a number from right to left one digit at a time.